All right, what is up, everyone? Wow, here's a, a pretty interesting game to be jumping into, huh? I remember years ago when I played this guy of four. And when I played that game, it was only because there was really not that much else going on at the time of release. And I had never played a Disgaea game before. I knew nothing about it. And my viewers were asking me, Gee, Phil, why don't you go outside of your comfort zone and do something a little different? So I did. And I remember playing the game, was it was incredibly quirky. It was incredibly different from what was the norm and what I was used to playing. Back then, I used to only play like the most mainstream Western AAA releases. And when I played the game, it was so weird to me. And I remember I sucked at it. I was not very good at this guy of four. It took me quite a while to get into the game and understand it. And then finally, it took several uh, days of off-camera grinding overnight to actually get into the game and understand the game and get better at it. Okay. So, here we are. Years later. And I forget if it's about four. It's at least four years, if not five years later. From the release of this Gaia 4. And we're going to be playing this Gaia 5 Alliance of Vengeance. I'm pretty excited to see what they've done with this. Because this is the first in the series that's on the current gen consoles. I want to see how they utilize the PS4. Uh, with graphics and such. Seeing nice HD crisp visuals and such could be pretty awesome. Uh, the gameplay of this Gaia is a lot different than standard JRPGs. It's more strategy based than anything tactical based than anything. And uh, it's quirky. The plot was very entertaining of this guy for very different. And uh, I'm excited to see how this is going to go. So I'm happy uh, for those of you who are now joining me for this one, you know, years, years later. Uh, who knew I would even be doing it this long, right? And here we are playing the next one in the series. So without further ado, let's go right ahead. Let's jump into this guy of five. Look at that. I love that. That cool 2D anime style, even though it's a little bit on the chibi side. It's pretty friggin' awesome, the quality of the artwork. Here we go. Let's hope the volume levels are good, because every time I play a new game, as you know, the volume levels are different. <laughs> Nippon Ichi Software presents... <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Let's make sure the typical stuff is on here. Uh, network on. See if I kind of kill you. Auto save now. Auto save the game when you return to base. I kind of would say yes. I'd like an auto save feature. I think. Yeah. Everything's on medium right now. Later on, I might uh you know increase the speed if I need to. Where's subtitles? I want to make sure they're on. Squad colors? Everything's on medium right now. Uh, I'm not really seeing subtitles, so I'm assuming they're going to be on by default, I would hope. A share feature? Uh, I'm not going to be doing live broadcasting, so I'll turn that off. Hmm. Alright, I think we're good then. All right, start. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to remember where we left off. Another world crisis of <laughs> extinction level proportions was perpetrated by the demon emperor, Void Dark. Whoa. The historians of later generations look back in puzzlement at this historical event, the largest netherworld war, which erupted and expanded in a flash and ended in just one night. Some Weird. call it the war with no victor while others call it the war with no hero. I call it Tuesday. The truth of this event remains a mystery to this day. Whoa! It's reckless of you to invade the territory of the lost. I don't know which netherworld you're from, but we're gonna put you in your place. So the netherworld is at like a civil war. <laughs> Whoa! Ouch! Penguins got owned. Madam Serafina, at this rate they're gonna annihilate us, dude! That's right, they're called prinnies. I forgot about that. <laughs> what did you just say? I will not abide being annihilated. Nice outfit. <laughs> A 
push up corset. Sardine for 20 hours of labor. That was our agreement. Now, put your backs into it. Your soft, squishy backs. <laughs> One sardine to fight a merciless battle isn't a fair trade, dude. First of all, it's impossible for us to defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark on our own, dude. Hmm. Though it's against my upbringing to sully my own hands, this once I shall unleash my overload power, Baylor Gaze. Ooh, Baylor Gaze. Oh, look who it is. Always eating. Excuse me, you right there. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Having a snack. Uh, eating, obviously. It's a fluffy rising dragon bowl with all white breast meat from a thousand year old dragon lord and its egg. Haha! <laughs> it's delicious. Yummy! This is what they eat in Japan dragon bowls. All right, then. I'm finished refueling. Let me get rid of these guys. Haha! <laughs> he whoops all their asses. Very nice. You destroyed an entire squad of the Lost Army single-handedly. Wow. Oh, she's in love. my prince. Haha. <laughs> oh, boy. Here he is again! Was that him? He's singing, huh? <laughs> that was him. <laughs> he defeats them with his lovely voice. And now the anime intro! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, hearts on the gun. Of course. Ah, nice boobs. Look at this guy. Whoa, he looks pretty badass. Oh god, the generic, like, girly dude. And the kid, the kid-like character. Every Japanese stereotype, here's the cute little girl with the mascot, of course. Ho oh ho! Whoa, who is that? Now the group fight, of course. The group fight montage. Wow, that guy transforms. That's cool, he gets big. This guy a fun motherfucker. Who the fuck is that guy? Oh, very nice, very nice, very cliche, but it was good. <laughs> what the? What's that? Okay, episode one: the prelude to vengeance. Episode one: prelude to vengeance. I just said that. How dare you? Excuse me, please wait. My goodness, please wait, Sir Kilia. Do you have any idea how much walking I had to do to catch up with you? I spent one whole hour walking non-stop through the desolate netherworld that is blood parch. At this rate, my legs will be as rock hard as a foolish gorgon who was petrified by a cockatrice. <laughs> well, Madam Serafina didn't actually take a single step herself, dude. Ha ha ha, let me guess they carried her. I will have silence. If you want to rest, take all the time you want. I'm leaving. How cruel, Sir Kilia. Surely you mustn't be planning to leave me here all alone. You decided on your own to follow me. You are incorrect. Sir Kilia, you decided on your own to save me from the lost. Now you must take responsibility for that decision. That's ah. unreasonable. <clears throat> I'm out of here. Ugh. Oh, shot him in the dick! Why? can't even dodge a simple attack. You must be exhausted, Sir Kilia. If you keep pushing yourself like this, you will never defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark. In fact, you're liable to become Roadkill. This gate connects to a pocket netherworld set aside for my exclusive use. Now, Prinnies, please be Sir Kilia's escort. 
<laughs> All men are destined to dance in the palm of the hand of the Overlord of Gorgeous, Seraphina. She's the Overlord of Gorgeous. <laughs> okay then, so she basically just kidnapped him. <laughs> okay then, good way to start it. Welcome to my pocket netherworld, Circilia. You can walk around here by using left stick when you want to talk to me or other citizens. Stand in front of them and press X. To change views, use L1 or R1 to spin the camera. Yada yada. This is the uh, Netherworld Hospital. When you're injured, come here to treat your wounds. I saw DLC already. This is the Rose and Queen Company. They sell weapons, armor, and recovery items. When you want to go outside, speak to the Dimension Prinny. Of course, I'll go with you. So here we are. Ooh. Whoa. What's this thing? Nothing? Just scenery. Oh, when you walk up there, you can actually see your stats. That's interesting. All right. And then over here, this must be her room. What the? So, Killia, we don't have to worry about being invaded by the lost here. Please relax and enjoy yourself. Sorry, but I don't have any time to waste here. Where's the exit? Grr. My, what an injury. You must have been wounded during our battle against the lost. No, I got this scar when you shot me. <laughs> so, Killia risked his life to protect me from the lost because he was seduced by my beauty. Yes, I know how you feel. You don't have to be embarrassed. It's natural for men to kneel before me. Are you listening to me? Now then, allow me to reintroduce myself since I'm going to be your master. I'm the wealthiest of all three worlds, the Princess Overlord of Gorgeous, Serafina. The previous Overlord, my father, tried to arrange a marriage of convenience between me and Void Dark. I got pissed, so I ran away. You're an Overlord, but you ran away from home? What kind of Overlord are you? <laughs> if Void Dark wasn't in the picture, I never would have had to dirty my feet in blood parch. That's why I'm out to get revenge on Void Dark. He humiliated me. You call that getting revenge? Anyway, fine. I don't have any interest in who you are. Do whatever you want. Oh, ho, ho, not so fast. Boy, she wants to talk again. I just remembered, Sir Killia. Have you been saving? Yeah, I'm on top of it. <clears throat> That's my Sir Killia. Save your progress to record your activities. However, Sir Killia, people tend to forget to save from time to time. I'm saying you want to double save. Well, I already have set to auto save. Every time I come here, it's supposed to already save, supposedly. Mary is Serafina's assistant. Look at her fucking face. What the hell? Why is she fucking blue and very surprised? For my master. I've served Madame Serafina since she was little and treated her like my own daughter. I'll kill a dirty insect if you try to put your hands on her. What the fuck? It's Ricardo, Serafina's servant, Prinny. The Prinny. You wanna die, dude? First thing he says, you wanna die, dude. All right. He wants his days back playing video games and not washing his hands. Amazing. Oh, jump with circle. Cool. Woohoo! 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 Can I open this? A bomb was untamed. Okay. This guy's singing. He just loops here. Woo! Music's great. Nicole is a know it all girl. Level 200. Again, the know-it-all guy, level 270. Oh my heart. Uh, this girl could not sing. The spaceships, look. Nether research ship endurance, a ship of hope that travels through the nether worlds. Ugh, this girl sucks. My journey. Memories. A memory shop? Thank you for visiting. You can watch all the events that you see in your current run as many times as you want. So I guess it's cutscenes. Yeah, you can access cutscenes here. That's interesting. Another bomb. Recruiter, strategy, assembly. There's data. That's how you say The data shop. Check items you found or various data you came across here. Okay. Well, I don't have anything. I just started. Relax. What's this? Nothing? Nothing here. Alright. Let's keep looking around. I know there was an item up here I saw this way. Here we go. A thimble! What the hell's a thimble? Dominant Keith and Mature. Mature the maid.
thimble. Pretty he has. I gave him a thimble as a sub-weapon. I don't think it really matters. Wrinkly clothes. Make you save here. Aha! Can you save data? Okay. All right, so where do I go to be start the story here? Is it the Dimension Guide, or...? This is fun. I'm Captain of the Pocket Netherworld Meaver. Speak of the Dimensional Printing to go wherever you want to go. We're busy planning facilities in the Pocket Netherworld. So maybe him? Where would you like to go, dude? Here we go. Are you finding my Pocket Netherworld comfortable enough, Sir Kilia? How do you like it? I don't have any time to waste in a place like this. My. I can't believe what I'm hearing from someone who eats in the middle of a battle. That was... it's like... Haven't you ever heard that an army marches on its stomach? <laughs> you're more of a gourmand than you project, Sir Kilia. Well, as long as you're strong, it matters not to me. You could say that this pocket netherworld is Sir Kilia's in my love nest. Oh my god. Please feel free to use anything here. Just so you know, I have no intentions of asking anyone for help. That is simply not possible. You see, Sir Kilia, you and I are connected by the Red String of Fate. The Red String of Fate? It's more like a bloodstained leash than a Red String of Fate, dude! <laughs> dude? Ha <laughs> ha You are mine, Sir Kilia. Please, do not resist. And what if I do? <laughs> All men are destined to become my obedient servants. Ha! Oh my god. Hearts yeah, everywhere. Kilia, follow my orders. Why do I get the feeling that'll be an ability in battle where she could charm male characters to, like, you know, do her bidding for several turns and stuff? I refuse. I refuse? Huh? That's odd. You will find me irresistible. Even if you are an overlord, you cannot resist the temptation of my overload power, Baylor Gaze. What are you trying to do? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Nothing, Sir Kilia. According to the information the Prinnies gathered, there are lost army forces in Blood Parch. Let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna probably have our first fight. Okay, here we go. Blood Parch. Can't go anywhere else right now. Yep. The dried up wasteland. Here we go, the first stage. Very nice. My, who might you guys be? <laughs> we are the generic redcoats, here to get our asses full. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Who goes around shooting at someone before finding out who they are? <laughs> I am truly sorry. Your social status is clearly lower than mine, and you seem like a small fry, so I took the shot. He's like, you bitch! <laughs> Who are you calling a small fry? We are the aristocracy of Blood Parch. We are cracking down on anyone who looks suspicious and taxing them. Aristocracy? But you all look so shabby. <laughs> Their lives were probably ruined by the lost, and they have since lowered themselves to being bandits. Shut up! Just listen. If you don't want to die, then hand over all the money you've got. Oh boy, time for an ass whooping. <laughs> I do not even have a single hell to give to dirty bandits like you. Hell, that's right, the, the currency are called hell. Uh. Aren't you guys demons too? If you really need some money, then why don't you use force and take it? In any event, dirty bandits like you don't stand a chance of defeating Sir Kilia. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're gonna have to fight too. <laughs> Excuse me? I've got something I need to do. I don't have time to protect an unsophisticated princess forever. I'll teach you the basics so that you can figure out the rest by yourself. Are you telling me to do manual labor? Yes. If you don't, then I'm leaving right now. <sighs> Very well. 
I'll fight. It seems I have no choice. She has guns. She actually is going to be tough I don't or something. Have any fighting experience whatsoever. I'm surprised to hear you say that, given how often you've been firing your gun this whole time. <laughs> hey, how long are you guys going to chat? Hurry up and cough up every hell you have or you're going to be sorry. Seems like they're ready to start. Prepare yourself. All right, let's whip that ass. Tutorial time. I guess I have no choice. <clears throat> In that case, I'll strip everything of value from those bandits. Here we go. Stage one, tutorial stage. All right, let's see the basics. Let's get a refresher. It's been several years since I played this series. Here we go. I don't know if it's true or not, but let's start with the basics, since you claim you've never fought before. Player's turn. Tutorial. Basics of battle. First, place the cursor over the base panel and press the X button. Right, you're warping a character. Next, select the character you want to dispatch and press the X button. If you select the wrong character, place the cursor over that character and press the circle button. It will return the unit. Alright. Which one should I dispatch? Well, all printies look alike, right? Oh, you racist. The printy yeah. racist. Now, try to give orders to the character you dispatched. Okay. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'm great at ordering them around. <laughs> uh, I've only got bad feelings about this, dude. <laughs> First, select move to get closer to the enemy. Roger. Charge the enemy, Prinny. Yep. You always want to get side or behind. You don't want to attack from the front. Select the attack command. Yep. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, he's like, uh. Huh? It didn't attack. Could it be? Is that Prinny disobeying my order? Absolutely not, dude! That step was just to register an action. We'll execute the registered action next. Right, right, right. Press the triangle button to bring up the menu and select either execute or end turn. Of course, for now. All right, that's right. All the combat's in one turn. I remember it all happens consecutively. Select <clears throat> execute, correct? What's up, dude? Damn! Chopped them up. I see. So this is how I can control my servants as freely as I want. That's right. Register action, triangle, execute. Remember this flow. But why can't you attack right away when you select attack? That's a great question. <clears throat> because it takes strategy to pull off team attacks and combos. Aha! Tutorial. Team attacks and combos. Alright, now let me teach you about team attacks and combos. <clears throat> Let's go! There we go. A double team. Attack, right? See, look, you can do a double team attack. Are you ready? Wow, we're up double team. Look at that. Oh! Ah, awesome. These are team attacks and combos. Love between Sir Killia and I will explode into a passionate team attacking combo. You're going a little too far with the love and passion. Don't stick anything weird in between the lines. <laughs> when attacking, if an ally is next to you, it may trigger a team attack. Up to four people can join a team attack. Four people, four person team attack. A nice. combo is triggered when you or your allies attack an enemy consecutively. The damage increases the longer the combo is. Right, I remember that too. Those are awesome. Performing team attacks and combos requires you to register actions. I see. Taking that into consideration, team attacks and combos wouldn't be possible if you attacked right away. When using multiple allies, actions will be executed in the order they were registered. As a beginner at battles, you should try to focus on creating combos and organize your moves accordingly. All right.
What are you doing? Got it. By the way, what happens when you select end turn? Then they attack. It switches to the enemy's turn. If you carelessly end your turn, it'll bite you back. Hard. She's gonna do it on purpose. Uh -huh. Press. Why did you press it? <laughs> Why did you just press it? Oh, you just ass beat. <laughs> Counter, counter, counter. You did that on purpose, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> that was good. Of course not. This is my very first time experiencing battle, so I was simply a bit overwhelmed. From now on, I should be more worried of you instead of the enemies. <laughs> if your HP is reduced to zero, you won't be able to fight. You can recover at the Pocket Netherworld's hospital. My, so it doesn't mean that you die? Right, because we're demons. We don't die that easily. However, if all dispatch characters are defeated, and you can't dispatch any more, then it's game over. Alright, so I just have to make the printies charge, right? How did you process all that information and arrive at that result? <laughs> no. Anyway, if you open the menu with the triangle button and select help, you can check what I just taught you. Okay. If there's anything you aren't sure of, then you should use that as a reference during the fight. Alright, let's get to the real battle. Let's begin. Alright, so it's gonna be the real fight now? Here we go! Alright, cool. Our first fight. 